Hi guys, this is Sugar Mama from Sugar Mama's Jigsaw Corner. Um, I was supposed to do a live at 6.30 today. And it's funny because I went on Facebook to do my live. And guess what? They took away my live button. I don't have a live button, so I can't go live. So um, I don't know what happened to it. And I don't know where it is, but I can't find it. So what I'm going to do anyway, I'm going to do this video and upload this video as promised um i will go over what we did on our last live that was not an actual live but we did it in, it was a live but um we did it in rooms so um this time i'm just gonna go ahead and um do what i did on the video i'm gonna show you what we talked about we talked about um the various types of glues um, or adhesives that you can use to put your puzzles together um, to hold your puzzles together once you put your puzzles together and I chose four different adhesives um, to talk about uh, a couple of them I've tried a couple of them I haven't tried some are more economical than others and then I wanted to show you um, the progress on my puzzle, on my family puzzle that has been more than a challenge for me because um, everybody's wearing red and I have 8, 11,000 red pieces of puzzle and I thought the top part of the puzzle would have been um, a little more easier to put together because it was the only part of the puzzle that actually had um, different colors in it. It had like black and white and um, some multicolors. Well, that proved not to be easy either. Uh, and I've, I've sorted out all of the pieces. And I think the last time I did an update, I was still trying to get the, the edge pieces together, the frame. And I finally got the frame together. And I've, I've done um, the only easy part of the puzzle was the middle of the puzzle because it, the puzzle is um, a, 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 a portrait uh style so the where the and it was two pictures together to make the puzzle so where the picture was actually divided there's a white line where they put the two pictures together there's a white line there that was the only part of the puzzle that was easy to put together because it was a white line that ran the the width of the puzzle it was the only thing that was easy to put together and i think i may do um this video in two parts if it starts to run too long because i really don't want it to to run too long so this may be part one and then i'll do um part two later and update it and i will post it to all of my uh, social media platforms to Facebook, to Instagram, to TikTok, and to YouTube. Um, and I'll give you everything that you need for that. I'll put that in the description below when I upload the video. And all the materials that you need or that I used will also be in the description below um, where you can purchase uh the products that I am going to talk about will also be posted in the description. Um, so here we go. Um, so please feel free to comment about any of the products, about the, the video itself, about the processes. Um, if you have an easier process to do puzzles that you know have a lot of the same color in it, because I've even sorted some of them out by shape because I figured that would be easier than by color so I, I started to sort them by shape and um, it tends to have more of one shape puzzle than any other shape um, and and that did help in some of the areas some I've got pieces and I'll show you later we'll go into the puzzle later right now let's talk about the types of adhesives that we use to uh, work on, on the puzzles. Okay. And I don't know if I can turn this puzzle around. Let's see. Okay. So, 
This is the first glue. And it's just a white all-purpose glue. I got it from Walmart. It's 120 milliliters. Uh, I, when I use it, I actually dilute it with water. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do something a little bit different. 